All right, guys, well, you can finally see behind me here that winter has decided to show up here in Maine, finally. Hoping the snow's gonna stay. We just got about six inches here. We're supposed to get some more um, in a few more days. So we're gonna have quite a bit of snow to deal with, which is gonna be sweet because we wanna be using that new snowmobile. But today's video is gonna be the first time that we're gonna be using the new snowmobile for ice fishing. I have driven it on the trail a little bit here and there. So if you guys have been following along, the last three videos or so have been mods to the ice fishing snowmobile. So we did a bunch of modifications to the big cargo box on the back. We added some lighting, which you guys will probably see with auger mount, all kinds of stuff. And I did a few other things off camera after the fact. We also built the bait cooler box that will go behind the rider seat. So that's pretty cool. And hopefully we'll get to test that out. I did end up putting a rod holder and a skimmer holder on there. So hopefully it's all going to work out and it's not going to fall apart on us. Josh has actually been doing stuff to his snowmobile as well. He's got a expedition. So we got two mean machines sitting here in the garage looking pretty uh looking pretty serious so he has the le model and uh we rigged up a big cargo box kind of like mine mine came with that so he, we wanted to put something on here that was a nice big box so he could throw some gear in i also made him a mount for uh the same mount that i put for my bait cooler so he's gonna put that box there but Tomorrow he's going to be running a two-up seat because we're going to have an extra person with us. So he's going to haul the extra person. And uh, yeah, we're just going to test it out. It should be fun. The bait's looking pretty good. I've had this bait in here for a little over a month and I've only had, I think, three die on me. I got, uh, I don't know, I got a few dozen in there. Not, not a bunch. Um, if you guys want to see how I built this uh, chest freezer bait tank, there's a couple good videos online that I did about it um, and I pretty much kept it the same after that last video I haven't done too many changes so uh, you can do this yourself and I know a lot of people have been doing it I've been getting messages and met a few people that said they actually built this bait tank and it works super good I haven't had any problems with it and uh, I trapped my own bait and I don't have to go to the bait store in the morning <laughs> sleep in a couple more few minutes there so I'm just getting stuff together tonight getting the bait ready and then tomorrow morning we're gonna get up nice and early and now we got a little bit of a sled ride to go in. Josh is bringing his expedition. We got two expeditions and an old tundra. And we're gonna bomb in through the woods, get to a little remote uh, trout pond, and see if we can catch a couple little brookies on some traps and maybe jig a few. So come along, should be a fun day. Let's be light. Yeah. Cody's just checking the ice down there, making sure we get enough to drive the sleds on. We know, we talked to a biologist the other day, he said there's plenty of ice and there's been sleds across here, but you never want to trust somebody's word. You always want to check it for yourself to make sure. So. It's a bit. 
All right. The ride in wasn't too bad. A little cold on the face, but the big windshield was pretty nice. We got plenty of ice too. Let's see how the bait made the trip. Ooh. Got a net. Well, yeah. that's what happens, man. It's just what happens, you know. I'm using the old golden shiner because that's just what I had. I'm fishing with a couple different types of traps this year, Jack and Heritage specifically, so I can do a review on, uh, you know, the difference of them because it seems to be. The great main debate is which one's better. Team Heritage, baby! All set up? I'm all drilled? Oh, okay. Flag. <laughs> Heritage, baby. Something on there. Got him. Rookie. All right, first fish just set the trap. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this trap is one I'm trying this year that everybody seems to be raving about online. It's very similar to a Harrier's trap. It's got the same type of flag mechanism, much larger, more quality flag completely customizable whatever wood and setup you want size reel and whatever you want really he can make it it's a forest city trap um the tripper is different stainless steel tripper versus the heritage that has a uh, copper um i like the way the reel set up better just more quality trap i feel than the heritage um it is a t little bit more expensive for the base model one of these but i think it's totally worth it if you're getting a lifelong set of traps Got a nice big old flag on it too, so you can see it from real far away. The heritage I've noticed for like brook trout fishing, the, the trigger, if you're fishing for like wild or native brook trout, they don't like much resistance and that tripper on that um, heritage is, seems pretty aggressive. It's got a lot of tension there and this one is just so much smoother, similar to a jack trap. It doesn't take much to set it off. <laughs> Two thousand one tundra baby, friggin' hanging them, just friggin' hanging them, friggin' hanging them. Look at that! <laughs> I bought both of these. Oh, look at that! It doesn't even trip. It doesn't trip. Come on. He probably fixed it a couple times already. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not friggin' with that out here in the cold. That's annoying. Dinner is served. What a friggin' place. Nice little backwoods, little small pond. Got all of ourselves. Oh, well, won't you? Catching stocked, rubbed up, trout. Yeah,
beautiful fins. <laughs> <laughs> you got baby when you. So. I got it. Dude, this thing's dippy with those skis. It's, wicked. it's not the skis, it's just wicked narrow. Well, the skis bite though, because they're oh, new yeah. carbides. I turned, it was like fing one ski. Dude. I told I'm like, I'm not letting go of this thing. I fing rode it. Dude, if I didn't want it with a GoPro on. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're all set up on the lake. We've literally covered this entire shoreline and uh been fishing for about an hour now. But uh Cody's picked up some of his traps and we're putting them. He is way over on the other side of the lake right now. So far they're all stocked fish. I don't know if there's any wild fishing here or not probably not if they stock it and there's no special regulation so probably just fishing for stock brook trout today but pretty cool pond little small pond that we you know kind of backwards pond that you have to get in either by hiking in or taking a snowmobile trail like we did this morning um so kind of fun we just got some fresh snow i'm gonna keep my traps so they are and then if cody starts getting some down that other point i'm gonna move everything down there and just try to try to uh chase them around and find some fish so stay tuned Out. Okay, everybody, except for you, who's got one. <laughs> Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little skinnier, skinnier of a guy. Pencil oh, Those... yeah, look at that little finny. Look at that. Nemo, see This pond is so small that you can, I don't know if you guys can see it with the camera, but the boys are right over there in that shoreline. This is the whole pond. We've got traps from our shack over there over to that point, and then all the way around to right over here. And there's a nice little island right here, and I'm gonna use my big four city trap with this big flag on it. It's nice and far away so I can see it. Plus we're riding around on a sled so we'll be able to see everything. And I'm gonna put it over here by this island. And uh, we've got most of the pond covered the shoreline, so. Hopefully we'll get some fish here. We're gonna just keep moving stuff around until we find them. So I've had this trap out of the hole now for a while and it definitely has some ice built up on it. And there's no play left in the reel, but you can still loosen it up. But what I've noticed is Bill puts these nylon spacers in there. So even if it does freeze up, it's still gonna spin on you. It's not gonna get all locked up. So that's nice. Because I've had this out of the water and I zipped across the lake with it. And just from driving from here to there, it froze right up. Nice hard bottom there. Where we're fishing on the other side, the places that I tested bottom with, um, it was soft. And you can kind of tell from the Google Earth uh, shot of this lake too. Kind of muddy bottom. Yeah, I was trying to find the transition there, but maybe there really isn't one. But over here, there's obviously some rocks, some outcroppings of rocks on the shorelines over here and around the uh, island. It's going to be some rocks around. That's what we want. Let's see if we get a fish over here. If I get, if I catch a fish over here, I might move another trap over. I also like these four city because they got a nice wide stance on them, so the wind doesn't tip them over.
Oh, yeah, these are heavy. Oh, that's heavy. Is that? Do you have the full size ones? Yeah. yeah. This can't be a trout, dude. Big old white perch. This can't be. It felt heavy. Dude, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> Holy sh! Dude, that's, that's a like good a one! Big old bass. There it is. Bass done, baby. Woo! Dude, that's, that's a good a bass. Big bass. <laughs> Somali! Not bad. <sighs> okay, get him back. Woo! I don't know. Got him. I got him. What do we got here? Looks like a trout. Yes. Feels like a trout. He had me in the weeds. It is. It's a trout. With some lettuce. All right, buddy, calm down. All right. Another stocked trout. Uh, here he goes. Thanks, buddy. Well, the Forest City Trap. Um, I like it. I probably, like, this is a pretty tall one. They make, I think they make one that's a little bit shorter. And if I was going to use this more for brook trout, I'd probably get the little bit shorter one, but uh, from what they told me, I talked to Bill, um, the guy that owns Forsy Traps. He makes all these himself. And he said that um, these taller ones here, this one, the trigger is actually lighter. So that's why I bought this one. Um, just, I assume probably, be, probably because it's the same flag and you know, if it's further away, it's less, it takes less to trip it. See how long this is, but for lake trout, you know, and fishing with a lot of ice. You can see this really far away. It's got that big flag on there. I mean, we're, like I said, on the other side of the lake over there, and I saw this flag go up. So, definitely pretty cool. This thing was just a rocking when I pulled up. Oh! Probably another bass. Holy smokes, dude. She's making about a... Oh! Catching, catching bass on size... I don't even know. Six? I don't know. That's pretty heavy. Trout like? No, I don't think so. It'd be a pretty big trout if it was. Okay. Yeah. That friggin' trap was shaking in the hole when I pulled <laughs> up. Oh yeah, big small. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Other one. Dude! Dude, that's a tank! On, Dude, eagles would eat for a month on that thing. <laughs> it is like the same one. Looks like the same damn thing, huh? It's not a thinner jaw.